My name is John Hennigan, and I play the role of Sam. Well, there was a wrestler that I met in Louisville named Seth Skyfire, and um, Stephen Atkins is his real name, his shoot name, so to speak, and I was working on a project called Ghost Puncher, and I asked him who the best effects person in the business was that he knew, and um, he recommended Jim. And uh, Jim came out and helped me with effects for Ghost Puncher, and um, since then, him, him and I became buds, and uh, I didn't realize that in addition to effects, uh, Jim was also a writer, director, producer, pretty much everything in the industry. And uh, he, at one point, told me he was working on this movie, Strange Nature, and uh, asked me if I was willing to be involved. And I was like, hell yeah, bro, I'd be stoked. One of my favorite moments in the movie was getting thrown through a table by uh, Big Dave Maddy <laughs> in the trailer. And uh, I remember at, at the time, um, Jim, pulled me aside and really kind of nicely and was a little bit concerned about asking me if I'd be willing to uh, get slammed through a table. And um, my reply was like, and it's super enthusiastically, hell yeah, I would love to go through a table. I would like nothing more than to get slammed through a table. <laughs> I've been waiting for something like this. You know, you come from professional wrestling where you get slammed through tables all the time. And um, a lot of times on film sets, you don't get to use the skills that um, that me personally, that I've spent my entire adult career um, working on and establishing. And uh, to be able to do that in this movie, Strange Nature, was really awesome. One of my favorite things about being around a guy like Carlos is there's a lot of things that you never really dreamed of as possible that um, he can just do. I mean, he's one of the most talented and sought after voice actors in the business. And I've never heard anyone who was able to make emotional fart noises. I mean, it's, it's a hard, hard thing to explain, but he could make a fart noise with his mouth that communicated emotion. Like, he could be like, that's a, that's a, that's a sad fart, like, that's a curious fart, that's a, that's a happy fart or a celebratory fart. Um, all this mouth. I mean, Carlos is, is a talented guy. If I, uh, I mean, sometimes I think if I could pick one superpower, like, that would be it, you know, to be able to communicate um, with my butt. And, and he can do it with his mouth. It's, it's pretty impressive. One thing about projects like Strange Nature that, that I really love is the opportunity to make new friends and get really close with people. Um, Carlos and I, for example, uh, became really close because we were in a lot of the same scenes, which meant we were either on set or off set together. And there were a couple days where we were just chilling in Minnesota with nothing to do, so we turned those days into, like, bro date days. And, um, and Carlos is saying, you know, he, he's got kids and he barely ever has free time, so when we had an off day, I mean, we went and saw um, two movies one day, and then in between the movies, we went and got Manny's and Petty's together. It was like a, like a full-on, like, bro date. And um, times like that, you almost never get in this business because everything is go, 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 go. And then when you're on set and you have, uh, or on a project and you have nothing to do, it's, it's like a relief. It's a, a really good time to spend making new friends. The, the way that I met Jim was through Stephen Adkins, AKA Seth Skyfire, who, uh, who I met at Ohio Valley Wrestling, but no, uh, him and I were both breaking into the business of professional wrestling. This is over 10 years ago, how far we go back. And, He's one of the, the funniest, most positive people that I'd ever met in the business of professional wrestling. And it was really cool to see him on set because with him, nothing had changed. He's, uh, he's putting out fires, he's doing a lot of the practical effects, makeup, supervising things. Um, he picked me up from the airport and he's always telling funny stories. He's uh, doing impersonations and making sure that uh, everybody's having a good time and keeping everybody in a good mood. And it was really cool being around him again and seeing what he's doing now after he left pro wrestling. I was, uh, I was surprised when I got to set the, the first day and um, I didn't have a trailer. Uh, there's, there was no trailer for me. There was no, uh, there was no air conditioning. It's uh, unusual for the mayor of Slamtown to uh, have to share space with the other talent. Well, that was rough. There's pros and cons when you're doing a project like Strange Nature. Um, some of the cons include crafty. There, there was always food available. 
but a lot of times uh, the type of food available didn't quite fit the macros of the Mayor's Lamb Town. Uh, I mean, crackers and little candies, while they, they might be delicious, are not the type of foods that uh, you got to eat if you know the week after you wrap Strange Nature you're going to be standing in a rain in your underwear in front of arenas full of people. So um, that was frequently a challenge. A lot of times I had to uh, discreetly leave set and uh, and find some uh, some some chicken or some some cheese. If it was if nothing else was open, I'd have to just get like string cheese from gas stations. Anything with protein. I felt like a lot of times I was on a quest for uh, for protein. <laughs> All this that is strange nature. One challenge when you're playing a character like Sam, who really is a a dark dark character if uh, you want to do him justice and give him a sense of realism which is really something that I was aspiring to do the entire project is um, you have to deal with uh, some dark thematic themes and um, for, for example his baby is born and uh, it, this baby is not at all what he expected and is in fact something that to his core the character of Sam loathes and how do you deal with that? Um, for me throughout my entire life personally I've always felt like uh, in situations like that that come up for me in real life sometimes I laugh at things which would otherwise make me cry it's a the personal defense mechanism and um, that's how I dealt with it as an actor, playing a, a character that dark. But sometimes you need to make sure that uh, the way that you're personally dealing with these, this dark subject matter doesn't bleed through to the, the character that you're playing on screen. Because if it does, you're not really doing justice to the realism of the situation. And uh, it's tough, you know, to, to do something that dark is uh, is emotionally draining and um, I'm proud of what we achieved you don't uh, you don't want to uh, as an actor every day play a scene where you're gonna kill your own baby but um, in the context of, of this movie I think we, we pulled off something that uh, felt honest and um, it's a it's a it was a dark day but I, I think what we did is is interesting because at its core, anytime you're truthful with the way that you're feeling and the way that you're dealing with the subject matter, honesty and truthfulness is, is interesting to watch. Would I hang out with Sam in real life? No, uh, probably not. Um, there are some things about Sam that uh, I think are endearing. He's a, he's a guy that's ambitious and charismatic. He's always striving for perfection. But the way that he deals with things that aren't perfect, um, people with deformities, for example, uh, people, people that are fat, people that don't fit his view of what perfection is or should be, he is, uh, is mean to. He treats people like they have zero worth in the world. And um, that's, that's scary. <laughs> that's a, a really scary thing for, for a person to have. Um, so, no, I wouldn't want to be around a guy like that. That's, that's really a, a negative way to, to view the world. Had I ever heard of those nasty frogs from Minnesota? Uh, no, I had not. The, uh, the first time that I was aware of uh, the, the frog deformities from um, north to mid-Minnesota was from Jim's Kickstarter. And um, it was intriguing to me. It's, it's really cool that you can tell a story like this where true life and, uh, and fiction is blended to the extent where this is something that really could happen, may have happened, and dealing with that subject matter is interesting. How did I feel about being part of the bad guy faction in the film? Bad guys have more fun. <laughs> I've spent the majority of my career in the business of professional wrestling as a heel, aka bad guy, and um, I really like it. There's you have your whole life to be a good guy. You have to be a good guy in real life. I'm a good guy in real life. But when you're, uh, when you're on screen, you're, you're playing a villain, there's like a certain pleasure to saying things and um, treating people in a way that you wouldn't otherwise do. 
And um, that specific pleasure or finding that pleasure, I think, is what really makes a good bad guy. You can't just be bad, you have to enjoy it. I didn't expect to see these gnarly frogs in real life, but in the, one of the first scenes in the movie, I do. I see the, the frogs, the results of these uh, frog deformities, and it seems like really exceptionally relevant, especially given today's political climate. The government is, is pulling back a lot from environmental issues, and I hope that, that Jim's film, Strange Nature, brings an issue that is unresolved to light that um, creates awareness for something that, that started in, in in Minnesota and is now being seen in Northern California, these frog deformities, is a, is a symptom of some underlying cause that uh, we really don't know what that cause is. And, um, and I hope Strange Nature can raise awareness and, um, and get somebody to figure out what is going on with the environment. I had a really good time working with Angela on set and what a crazy experience it is to have your on-screen wife deliver your child <laughs> and uh, that, that day specifically was a whirlwind of emotions because um, I'm happy that that she's delivering this this baby and um, I was really excited about the way I was coaching her through it you know like to meet your glutes honey engage your core push that thing out of there um, which I imagine is probably the same things that I'm gonna say to my wife, when we're delivering our real child, you know, pop the thing out, babe. Activate your glutes, huh? Um, but uh, the uh, the outcome in Strange Nature, uh, by outcome I mean baby, was uh, was not as exciting as I had hoped. The character Sam had hoped, and um, I was really taken aback by the realism that Angela brought to that situation, and it made me. It made me really feel what she was going through and made my character react um, in a ways, in some ways that I didn't even expect to, uh, to living through a, a childbirth on screen. And I'm um, interested, excited, and a little nervous to, to see that scene in the movie.